एम रमेश वशिष्ठ एस्ट्रोलॉजी टीचर एंड कंसल्टेंट फ्रॉम गुड़गांव हरियाणा इंडिया टुडे माय टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज मिथ्स एंड कंफ्यूजन्स अमंग द पीपल इन मैचिंग ऑफ हॉरोस्कोप फॉर मैरिज आई हैव सीन in my practice for the last 20 years that there is a big change in the psyche of the people especially the young generation who are very modern but still they would download a table named ashtakuta in north india and the skuta table in south india and they will either themselves decide or go to a priest of temple who has a panchang and he has also that table this table which is based on the constellation the birth star only which is the part of moon sign is applied to finalize the score out of 36 there are eight considerations having value of first having value of 1 varna varsha 2 and so on the last being nadi dosha that has value of 8 out of 36 when the score is minimum 18 then only the astrologer will say you can go ahead for marriage but that is not the case i have seen so many good matches being rejected by these astrologers because of this table only i want to clarify all that this table was written by our astrological sages 2000 years back what was the condition of our society then girls have had no education no profession at that time the society was a male dominated society the girl was told at the time of marriage that now onwards your husband is your god the pati parmeshwar you have to obey his dictates wrong or right but is it possible now a equally qualified girl with equally status having same profession how can she obey the wrong dictates of her husband no never and what is this table this table has one planet consideration only moon moon is just the compatibility level means obedience level but is it the life life contains profession rise health longevity so many factors by this table nothing is considered only the score is not an indicator of a good or bad life we have to cast the horoscope and go for in depth study of the horoscope because these astrologers they can read the table only they have no knowledge of horoscope even they don't know how to see the horoscope whereas a important event of life like marriage is taken so casually by deciding accepting or rejecting on the basis of a insufficient and obsolete table our shastras say desh kal patra means whatever is written in the text should be updated according to that time every science throughout the world is making research they are updating the facts everybody knows that some years back some of the medicines were considered as panacea 
but now they are not at all used because of their side effects. Now new generation medicines and antibiotics have been developed by the scientists. Same should be followed by our astrology doing professionals also. But every astrologer, they are confusing the society and that's why I have to today discuss this main topic. Other than the score, the other thing is doshas. There are three doshas. Ganamha dosha, Bhakuta dosha and Nadi dosha. In the ancient texts, it was clearly mentioned that for these doshas, there are nullifications. There are pariharas. But no one applies because they don't know. The Shastras themselves say, no varna vargo, na yoni, na gana. Dvaridvada se cheva, sadasta keva. Tara viruddham nau panchamam shat. Rashi se swami, subdo vivai. Means, even if these varna vasa nadi gan, they are not compatible. If you are not having good score in these considerations, but the Lord of Moon Science is same or friend, it will alone give a very good married life. But we are not applying it. For Nadi Dosha, it is clear mentioned Nadi Doshas to Vipranam. Means Vipranam is Brahmins. At that time, there was a world system. Brahman, Kshatri, Vaish and Shudras. Now, the society has totally changed. This caste system is not so important. And then, so many people who are not Brahmins, even they are denied the marriage, even if they are having 28 score out of 36, but if there is a Nadi Dosha, the astrologer will say, no, you can't marry because of this Nadi Dosha. And most of the people, they will follow him, his dictates and they will reject a very good, good match. I have seen so many boys and girls for the last five, six years, so many good cases, they go to such astrologers and without going for in-depth study of the horoscope, they will decide only on the basis of this table only, which is not a sufficient and it requires updation and basic thing is in depth study of horoscopes of both the individuals especially 7th house, 7th lord, Venus, Jupiter which are more important in the married life because mana or moon alone will not decide the quality of married life. We have to say see all angles and in holistic way, in totality, we have to decide not on the single factor. The other myth of Mangalik Dosha is also prevalent on which I will discuss in my next video. Thank you.